Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 11th of 2023. Well, it is titled Magellanic Clouds over Chile. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in the desert of Chile, uh, taken in January 21st, we see two blobs of stars in the sky. Now, these are actually prominently known as the Magellanic Clouds, and they are actually satellite galaxies of our own, and they're very easy to see. Although many of us who live in the Northern Hemisphere will never get to see them because they happen to be very close to the South Celestial pole and that means they're not visible at far northerly latitudes they never rise above the horizon just as some stars like Polaris and the Dippers are very far north and are not visible to those at very far south latitudes other objects near the south celestial pole will never rise above the horizon for viewers in the north. So we never get a chance to actually see these directly unless of course we travel south of the equator. Now here we get to see those two in this image and that includes the large Magellanic cloud up above and the small Magellanic cloud down below. And as I said, these are two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way, and they do orbit around our galaxy. So they will orbit around our galaxy, uh, much as planets orbit around uh, the star in our solar system, the sun. So much as that happens, these orbit around as well. And there are also a large number of other galaxies, these being two of the more prominent ones in the night sky. But there are many other galaxies as well within our own local group. Now some of these don't last very long and there's probably a lot fewer now than there were billions of years ago when our galaxy formed. And that's because they will eventually at some point get too close to our galaxy and get torn apart. So they will be shredded and ripped apart and eventually incorporated into our Milky Way. So this is how galaxies have grown over time. The larger galaxies will cannibalize the small galaxies and also merge with other large galaxies, making even larger galaxies that we see. So this is how galaxies have grown from the very small irregular shaped galaxies that existed uh, many billions of years ago right after the Big Bang and first formed then to the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see in our local neighborhood of galaxies today. So here we get to see two of those small galaxies clearly visible in the southern sky um, as imaged from Chile on January the 21st. So that was our picture of the day for February 11th of 2023. It was titled Magellanic Clouds over Chile. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be another cloudy day. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.